You should have in front of you the results of your carotid intima media thickness ultrasound test. This is the best test for identifying cardiovascular disease at its earliest stage. This is the disease that will ultimately lead to bypass surgery, cardiac stents, and heart attacks and strokes in many people. This is very different than the carotid Doppler ultrasound test that many people have had and is offered in lifeline screening. That Doppler ultrasound just looks at the flow of blood through the artery. The IMT ultrasound that you had actually looks at the artery wall using a high resolution ultrasound probe and modern technology. On your test, you're gonna see two main pieces of information. The first thing you're gonna see is your vascular age. With this, what they do is they actually take cursors on the computer and, and measure the thickness of your artery wall. It's sitting right there, so very accessible, and this is a window to, the, to what's going on in the rest of your body. Studies have shown that this correlates very well with heart disease and other vascular disease. So with the test, you're gonna get a vascular age. And what that means is that it's comparing your actual thickness to the thickness of the average person your age. So let's say you're actually a 49-year-old, but it says that your vascular age is 59 years old. So that means that your thickness is 10 years older than you should be, and you're on the path to disease. And we need to find out why. The other piece of information that you get with your report is measuring individual plaques. These are like little volcanoes in the surface of the artery to identify whether you have a cat in the gutter. A cat in the gutter is just a word picture for what I'm talking about. In this picture, you're gonna see a cat crouching in the gutter in Europe. It's down beneath the surface of, of the walkway so the pigeon off to the side can't see the cat. That pigeon is you. That cat is the plaque in your artery. You have no idea that that plaque is there, but that plaque is just a rupture away from jumping out and attacking you and causing a heart attack, a stroke, or perhaps itty bitty events that you don't even notice in your brain that can lead to dementia. It's called vascular dementia. So it's really important to identify, do you have a cat? How do you do that? Well, their report that measures the individual plaques will give you a size. If it's more than 1.3 millimeters, that's significant. It's also going to tell you whether it's a soft plaque or not. Any soft plaque is like a blister, ready to pop, is very vulnerable, and it's at risk. So a soft plaque of any size is significant. So if, if you have any individual plaque over 1.3 millimeter or any soft plaque of any size, that's a cat. Another piece of information that's important is where is it located? If you see on there the internal carotid artery, that's the artery that leads straight to the brain. It's a straight path to the brain, and if that plaque pops, you're gonna have a mini stroke or, or a stroke. It all depends on where it lands. So that's more important than some of the other arteries that are involved. So if, what happens if you have a cat in the gutter? People look at that, they get nervous, or their vascular age is way older than they are. What do I do about it? Well, the next step is to assess the reason why, and to protect that cat, because there is ways to protect that cat from rupturing, and there are ways to reverse disease, to improve your vascular age, and make that soft a more stable uh, plaque that's not going to likely cause any problems. There's very little need for having a heart attack and stroke, and that's why we're doing your health mapping.